All right, so I'm out here. I'm out here today with Eric. We are can't see me because of the sun. We're out today. We're on the seawall, as you can see. We came to the first spot. Really, nothing going on here. The water's dirty. We have some waves that are coming in from the south side over here. So it's going to stir up a lot of the waves around the rock groins. So like I said, nothing too going on. A lot of bait in the water. We see stuff smashing on it. I think it's going to be ladyfish and needlefish. He hooked up to a small ladyfish. I had one hit my shrimp. Got a few little tugs around the rock groins. We had good reports that there was a lot of flounder around the seawall. You know, and it could just be this rock groin. Maybe this rock groin just ain't producing but the water clarity doesn't quite look like it was forecasted to look. But we're going to move on. We're going to hit the next spot. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As Eric, he's a rock master. <laughs> he has all the best pet rocks. Something right there on top. That's not very smart. What? You're gonna lose that damn rod. I'm gonna hold it with my foot. <laughs> he said that's not very smart. Where's my rod holder at? Yeah, yeah, them redfish are here. And they're just gone. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. I got it. Yeah. Now, if I double hook up, Dad, I might need your assistance. Yeah. From what? Doing the same thing from yeah, feeding? Yeah, recurgitating. All done. Oh, already here. <laughs> he was. I think he's not anymore. Is that my shoelace? Oh, what the <laughs> that was. What the hell? Good <laughs> cluster. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Not the biggest cluster <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> you, I've have seen you, bigger. Have you fished? Yeah. Have you fished with me before? <laughs> Yep. Yeah. No, it's like catfish. Yeah, catfish. Oh my god, look at this guard. That's gaff top. <laughs> what did I just say about the gaff top? I didn't believe it. Look at go. And they pull pretty good, don't yeah. they? Yep. Oh my goodness. This is my PB gaff top. <laughs> oh my god. So I was saying, how, how, how big was I saying? Golly. Yeah, I've never seen yeah, a gap top this big. That's not a big man, one. Dude. They get bigger than that here, bud. Oh out. my gosh. How big that gap top is. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the big heck? Head. Big head gap top. Live shrimp. <laughs> what is that on? Five foot liter. Woody cork. <laughs> Uh, I almost lost my my reel started moving towards the end. My reel started coming off towards the dock. Feel like another gap top. Big one. It was, a, it was an as big as the last one. Huh? No, it's a gap top. Look at the fence. Okay, yeah, 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 I see it. My line, my rod started moving like that. <laughs> a little woody cork again. Five foot liter, another gap top. Hoping for some specs and some reds, but. Gap top are funny catch too. Ain't no big deal. All right, get this guy off. Isn't that funny? Now I'm walking 
and slowly working this live shrimp close to the dock. I like to do this off a of dock or off a of pier. Typically, I try to do this with a lure, soft plastic, trying to see if I can locate a fish. It's mainly, I try to target flounder, but in this case, I was just looking for maybe a red, maybe a speck, even a sheephead that was down there hanging around. Eric! Ripping? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a nice red. I need a net, I need a net. Yeah. Hurry, I'm waiting on you. Two of them. There's one red, there's two of them. Second one with them. Eric's gonna go get the net, so I'm gonna try to keep this guy. I'm going too far. Right on top. Ooh. Pretty red though. Nice big guy. I'm gonna bring it to you. Just get down. There was two of them. There was another one swimming with them. <laughs> That's a nice one, baby. <laughs> what is up, my brother? There was another one swimming with them. Oh, uh, dead shrimp? That was a live one. I mean, shrimp? Yeah, that was a live one. Let me see this guy here. I ain't ran that for a long time. Did you? Look at that little bitty hook too. Man. Little bitty hook. Look at that little bitty treble hook right there. If you can see that. Little baby treble hook. He is 26 and a half. 26 and a half inch red. All right, so that's gonna do it for us. You know, we started the day out planning to hit the seawall and fish the surf forecasted for the surf was water clarity it was supposed to be very good visibility and it was supposed to be flat for the most part it was flat but we had sally just came in off the coast of louisiana so we had a lot of that high tide and a lot of that tide push which made the area around the rock groins made it a little dirty from all that settlement. So instead of wasting time or spending too much time fishing off the seawall, we decided to head over to a buddy of our spot. Now, I've never fished this location before, but it sure was fun to get out. And I always like to change it up. It was fun just to get out and fish a new area. But real quick, I just want to talk about this upcoming weekend and this week going forward now we do have a storm that is out there in the gulf of mexico that looks like it's going to bother us we're going to switch over the pc real fast and i'll show you now right now right here you can see it looks like this tropical depression is going to affect our galveston area even further down the coast as we get into monday and tuesday maybe even on Wednesday. So that being said, we're going to probably see a lot of rain. They're not calling this to be a strong wind event, but really just a lot of rain for our area. But this weekend and going forward, it's going to get pretty windy. Actually, it's pretty windy already today right now. We have a strong northeast wind. And switch over here real fast. 
you can see this strong northeast wind right here 15 now this is not the gust this is just what is blowing so typically when it's blowing this hard i typically try to stay out of the kayak and try to keep it safe as the week progresses you can just see how the wind just tends to pick up so really just be careful out there guys you know don't push the envelope too much this might be a good weekend including this might be a good weekend with the rain as well that you spend going through some and organizing your tackle boxes and and stuff of that nature as well as maybe that's the weekend where you clean the rod and rail spend a little more time doing stuff like that i know i will and and of course i'll spend a little time with the family as well well i wouldn't say a little but i'll spend a lot of time with the family this well as well this weekend but just to play it safe and real quick just want to show you surf report you can just see how it is just building and building going into sunday and then monday morning it starts going back down it looks like it goes back up again on thursday but i don't look too far out only look a couple days out because it really will change and the forecast will change hourly if not daily so i try not to look too far out when it comes to looking at the surf report but i just wanted to share that with you guys i hope you have a good weekend i hope you I hope you're able to fish i mean if not just don't push the envelope too fast don't push the envelope too hard if you are trying to get out there in the kayak. Play it safe. Do the right thing. Make sure you take care of yourself. And don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe. And hopefully next time you catch me, hook it up. Thanks.